Hi Pisces, welcome to January 2018 and Happy New Year! Here we are. Now this is a wonderful time for you because the Cancer full moon is right on the first and this is a very positive full moon. It is in harmonious energy flow with Neptune in your sign Pisces to Mars and Jupiter in your other sister sign Scorpio forming a grand water trine. So for some of you, you could be getting some wonderful news, a new home, an opportunity to work from home. There could be news about a new baby. Someone in the family is having a new baby and you're very excited about that. This is a wonderful way for you to go into the new year with tremendous support from the universe, supporting you and what you're doing and it's just exciting. Now, Uranus moves direct on the 2nd. All the planets are direct. January, February, until March 8th when Jupiter will retrograde. That's the green lights from the universe. That is go for it. Go after what you want. Go after your heart's desire and make your dreams come true. The Sun and Venus will couple with Pluto on the 9th. That is a very big focus for you. So get ready for some serious manifesting. Capricorn uh, is the 11th house for you. And so it is about the money you make from the business you own or the money you make from the company you work for. It is about your goals. It is about your hopes and wishes. It is about your friends. It is about sudden luck sudden opportunity and there's such a big focus here in uh, this part of your chart in January and of course Capricorn sextiles Pisces and that is opportunity now it isn't about wishing something into manifestation it is about lining up the energy and taking action so that you are manifesting and Mercury will enter Capricorn on the 11th and Venus and Jupiter will sextile. This is fantastic. On the 15th and then again on the 14th and then again on September 2nd. This is powerful energy to help you manifest. Maybe for some of you, you want to travel abroad. You're thinking about uh, long distance travel or um, using the internet to market your products and services to the world, uh, using the internet to market a cause that you belong to, and uh, thinking about teaching and traveling, uh, maybe going to school for some of you. This is amazing energy and it's powerful energy. It can also be for some of you you're, you're building your income because you're increasing your knowledge, you're increasing your skills, you're increasing your um, abilities, and that's bringing you more money. That's bringing you uh, greater abundance and wealth here in January and the new year, which is incredibly exciting. Now... The new moon in Capricorn is on the 16th. This is an amazing new moon. There are six planets in Capricorn. You have Venus, Moon and Sun, Pluto, Mercury and Saturn all in Capricorn. Mars is sextile the new moon. That can empower you to take action. That can empower you to go after what you want. Uranus is also squaring, challenging this Capricorn new moon. And it's compelling you to take action. So it's not about just dreaming about something happening or fantasizing about something happening. It is about taking physical action to make things happen and being compelled to take action. And for you, it could be like some sort of promotion out of the blue that you weren't even, you know, planning on. 
that comes in here for you in January. Now it could come around this new moon or it could come around um, the 23rd of January where, you know, out of the blue, <laughs> you get this promotion, you get all this money, and it's about manifesting, right? And when we're manifesting, we have to be ready to receive. So you want to be, you know, in that place where you are ready to receive what uh, is going to be coming your way. And it's exciting. And it, it could be more money. It could be, a, you know, some sort of bonus. It could be a promotion. It could be, you know, something really big that you've been wanting. And here it is. And it's, it's pretty cool. Now with Capricorn, it is about owning your authority. With Saturn and Capricorn, it is about owning your authority, being the authority of your life, owning that power. Also being the change agent. You know, with this Uranus in here, compelling action, compelling you to take action in the area of your goals, your objectives, your hopes and wishes, what it is you want to create. Take action. And it is time to take action. All the planets are direct. They're direct here in January and February and so on. So it is time for you to um, take action and be direct. Using your God consciousness to manifest what you want. That is the highest level of Capricorn is going up that mountain to your mighty I am presence, to your higher self, and pulling in higher consciousness, coming from a place of God consciousness, not the competitive ego, but coming from your creativity. And that's what creator supports, is creativity. And that's good. I mean, this is a rocket month. This is an amazing month. And it's happening in a great area of your chart, which is so exciting for building abundance, being surprised by abundance, you know, and hard work really pays off here. And, and being diligent and, and, you know, being steadfast and, and working towards those goals, getting up every day and doing something towards your goals, doing something towards your big dream, your big idea. And it will happen. It will happen for you. Then Venus enters Aquarius on the 17th, and then the Sun enters Aquarius on the 19th, and that starts to pull the energy behind the scenes, which is about you getting ready for your birthday cycle coming up. And so you may find that your energy is starting to you know, wane as we move into the Aquarian energy, and it's time for you to... Uh, make sure you're taking really good care of yourself, especially around the Leo lunar eclipse. That will come on the 31st. There is an eclipse in Leo on the 31st, and it follows that total solar eclipse that happened in August. And so you can reflect on what was going on in August and, you know, what have you learned since then here, you know, almost six months later, what have you learned about yourself and for you it's in the area of health, health habits, work, work habits, lifestyle and so these eclipses have been bringing to light uh, your life work balance, your health, your spiritual life, your spiritual destiny, why you're on the planet at this time. I'll talk more about that in February. Now, Mars enters Sagittarius on the 26th. That brings the action to your destiny in the world, your profession in the world, and that's really going to energize things there. And so that's why this is a really good month for you to be, you know, working toward your goals, working toward expanding your business, uh, expanding your uh, projects, wherever you're putting your energy, moving up in what you're doing. And then, of course, as the month ends, Mercury is in Aquarius on the 31st, and we have the first eclipse of the year in Leo, and that is also on the 31st, and that is bringing the action and focus to your uh, lifestyle and working behind the scenes 
as, as well as how you work and really taking good care of yourself. But it is a powerful time for you to build income, for you to build wealth, for you to build abundance. This is an amazing time for you to do it. And that's why you want to take advantage of it. You don't want to just be visualizing uh, what you want to manifest. You want to put the energy and action into it as well, you know, uh, this month, so that you are seeing the uh, payoff here. Because it could be substantial in uh, this Capricorn cycle. You absolutely want to take advantage of it. It lifts you up. It empowers you. It's creating opportunity for you and it's requiring action. It's not the kind of opportunity that just is brought to you. It's the kind of opportunity that comes from the action you take. And so uh, take action now. Get out there, you know, work hard, make things happen here in January. Then by you know, the end of the month, especially by the eclipse, then you can draw back the energy a bit because you may be feeling more tired and you need to rest and recharge your batteries and it'll be totally appropriate and you'll be ready to because you'll uh, have done such a great job the, the, for the you know, first few weeks of the month that now you can rest and take time to play and have fun and celebrate your promotion, your big win, your wonderful news your um, powerful income that's increasing here for you. It is something else. It is amazing. Now, for those of you open for love, it's on. I mean, you have this magical moon going on, and it's in the area of true love and romance, creative self-expression. And you could be meeting someone through travel, you could be, you know, meeting someone through the internet and they live abroad, you know, they live in another country or they live in another part, you know, far away from you, but there's something magical happening here, something spiritual, twin flame soulmate kind of energy, and it's, you know, go for it. You know, this is a go for it energy. This is the time to go after your hopes and wishes. Go after your deepest desires. Go after love. Go after your heart desires. Absolutely. Because it could totally line up for you. Like this person could be just amazing for you. And you really feel that soulmate connection. So whether they're close by or far away, don't let that get in the way. Because when it's right, it's right. For those of you coupled, you're getting some wonderful news in here at the beginning of the month and it is you know just time to celebrate maybe you're getting a new home maybe you're starting this amazing new business together or an opportunity to work together from home or maybe you're having a baby there's something amazing happening here for you right at the beginning of the month that just is awesome and beautiful and just makes the relationship Yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> and that's great. That's good news. Money looks excellent. There is some serious manifesting going on here. As long as you're not just dreaming it in. I had a dream. I got all this money. <laughs> okay, now take action to make it happen. Take action to make that dream happen. And it's not enough just to dream. <laughs> not in this dimension. This dimension requires physical uh, physical, it requires physical action. But money looks excellent for you. It's like off the charts. I mean, you have so many planets in your money house. Uh, the money you make from the business you own or the money you make from the company you work for. And it is just, wow. It's just, it's just, it's wow. It's wow. And, and it's happening. So you could seriously manifest Pisces. And it does come from your optimism. It does come from the magic of Neptune and Jupiter. And they're trying it. And they're trying it all year. And so you can literally manifest out of the spiritual into the physical. But it does require action too. 
<laughs> and the ability to receive it, right? So if you create the space for, oh, I want all these new clients, or I want all these new patients, or I want all these new customers, but then you don't have the room for them, then, then you're not ready to receive. So make sure your life is set up in a way where you're ready for the new business, or you're ready for the business to expand, or you're ready for that promotion, because they could drop it in your lap this month. This promotion you've wanted for years or months or however long, all of a sudden they just walk in because Uranus is involved this month. Uranus is direct and he's involved at that new moon. And even after the new moon, he could just like, you know, create something where, you know, the higher ups come in and they just say, let's give it to her or him, Pisces. And they just drop it in your lap. Do you want this promotion? And so you have to be ready, right? You have to be absolutely I'm ready yeah thank you very much I can do it and away you go oh and thank you for the promotion and 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 thank you for the raise as well thank you for the bonus out of the blue here it comes that's Uranus anything that happens out of the blue Uranus is, is uh, involved so get ready be ready for some serious manifesting spiritually it's off the charts and and you know, it's just a matter of listening, taking that quiet time for yourself so that you can hear that inner voice, so that you can hear your God consciousness talking to you, creating that space so that you are receiving the information to guide you, all in divine timing. But the stars are aligning for you. Now, if you start to feel your energy wane, right, through the month, because you're getting ready for your birthday, for those of you born in February or March, once everything starts to move in Aquarius, you're getting ready for your cycle to begin. And that's when our energy can wane a bit. So just be aware that, you know, by the end of the month, if you're starting to feel tired, take time for yourself. You know, and also with that lunar eclipse, is there something you need to heal? You know, how is your health? Is there anything you need to heal with your health? Do you need to... Uh, rest more or you know is there uh, do you need to exercise more do you need you know what is it that you need you know Neptune is making an awkward aspect to this Leo lunar eclipse which is all about healing and there may be something from your past you need to heal or uh, healing your inner child healing your heart you know healing yourself you know what needs healing this will be the time for you to, you know, pay attention to that. Maybe you're making a change here, you know, because eclipses, eclipse things, and full moons bring things to completion. You know, it could be also you're changing jobs, right, because you get a promotion or you start this new business. You know, there's something that you could be changing in how you work, your, your work style, because of the promotion or because of the new business, which is incredibly exciting. So there's some sort of adjustment you need to make here at the end of the month going into February around how you work, your physical health, your work hours, your health habits, and, you know, absolutely you want to do that, you know, because there's so much support here for you. Your ruling planets are Jupiter and Neptune, and they're in harmony all year. And so the stars are aligning for you, and it started in December, you know, and so here you are in January, with this amazing grand water trine and all of these sextiles from Mars to the Capricorn to your planets and Mars is trining you until he goes into Sagittarius and so you have all of this support to create what you want it's it is about requiring physical action though to to do it to you know make things uh, happen to pull it into the physical, to pull it into this world. But you can do it. It is your time to go for it. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plus in my videos. Pisces, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you'd like to work together, those links are below. They're also up in the cards. So until next time, Pisces. You get some wonderful news here. Celebrate!